Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing dupes and comparable lipsticks to some of my favorite lipsticks. So this is going to be including MAC and then some other high-end lipsticks. So I've got all the products laid out here and I'm really excited for this. When I was preparing to do this video, I was just like, wow, you could just go on forever searching for dupes. But what I didn't want to do was go out and like start purchasing doubles of makeup that I already had. You know what I mean? You could you could like totally do that forever trying to find dupes and end up with like a whole Noah's Ark collection of two of a kind of everything, you know? So I did not want to do that. Um, so I tried to go through my collection and just find things that I already had that were similar. Um, to some of my favorite products. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, the background is different just because I turned my camera this way so I could face one of my lights head on instead of having like the two bright lights coming down on the side of me. I thought the lighting was a little weird like that, so I'm still kind of working out the kinks. It's really hard not feel, not getting to film in front of a window how I was used to before. So um, just working with artificial light, I'm still getting used to, but you can let me know what you think of the lighting in this video. Just by the way, my hat's off to you. If you do lip swatches, like for your blog or whatever, you know, anyone out there who does lip swatches regularly, holy moly, that like really works your lips. But I made it through for the sake of you guys. I had to do lip swatches because I feel like if I was just to swipe them on my wrist, it just doesn't show what it's actually going to look like, you know? So I'm going to start with a peachy nude, one of my all-time favorite lipsticks from MAC. This is Shy Girl. And the dupe I found for this is by Revlon from their Super Lustrous line. This is Just Enough Buff. And those I found to be very, very similar. Uh, you do have to do like a couple of layers of Just Enough Buff, um, but you know, because Cream Machine, it does go on a little more opaque, but the color is pretty much dead on. Next, I have more of a pale nude. And this is an old favorite. This is by Estee Lauder, Vanilla Truffle. And this was a really hard one to get. Um, it was limited edition, and I know it came out like a couple times, like a couple years in a row, and then it would disappear right away. Uh, it did sell out really fast. But this is Vanilla Truffle, Estee Lauder, from their Pure Color line. And it's just a gorgeous nude, like it doesn't wash you out too much, you know, it's just like a really beautiful nude. So the one that I found, I didn't even know that I had it in my collection. I had stocked up in about three of these and then I realized, oh, this is like a dead-on dupe for it. This is Revlon Colorburst Soft Nude. And they're pretty much exactly the same on the lips. Next I have MAC Freckle Tone. And this is a luster, so it goes on fairly glossy. So the match I found for this is by Revlon. And this is one of their lip butters, actually. This is Creme Brulee. And when I look at the two products in person, they don't look like an exact match. But when they go on the lips, they come off looking the same. So it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. But you can see Freckle Tone does look a little warmer. But on the lips, well, you'll see in the swatches. Next, I have another nude by MAC. This is one of my all-time favorite nudes, too. This is Peach Stock, and it is in limited edition packaging, but it's still available. Um, you can just call the MAC Pro number and order it. But it's a gorgeous kind of, like, hint of warm nude. You know, it's not like, not like wash your lips out nude. Now, I'm really excited that I found a dupe for this one because that is one of my favorite nudes of all time. So the dupe I found is by Revlon, and this is Nude Attitude. So I don't know. See, that's another one. They look a little bit different on camera here, but when they're on and actually in real life, they look very, very similar. Now for one of my most worn, most loved lipsticks of all time. This is my very first purchase at MAC, and this is MAC Gel. So it's a golden beige frost, and I just love this. I purchased this over and over again. But anyways, um, so the dupe that I found for this, it's actually, I wouldn't call it an exact dupe, so I'm just going to call it the comparable product that I found to MAC Gel is this one, and this is Revlon Sparkling Cider. And at first I thought that it was going to be a different one. I thought it was going to be Revlon Super Lustrous in Champagne on Ice. I thought that would be closer to gel, but it turns out that that doesn't show up enough, you know, so... Um, I wanted, to find, I wanted to find one that didn't just, you know, swipe the same on the arm. I want to see them be the same on the lips. 
Now, the next one I have is going to be a YSL lipstick, and this is a Rouge Volupte in number two. This is Sensual Silk. And the dupe that I have for this, I could not find for the life of me a, like, a cheap drugstore dupe for this. So if you guys know, leave it in the comments below. But anyways, so Sensual Silk, number two, YSL Rouge Volupte. The one that I found that's similar to that, because I still wanted to have like another option, because these are like $34, and I think that's pretty expensive for just a lipstick. Um, although the packaging is beautiful. But I don't want to pay you just for packaging. So I did find this one that's quite similar. This is actually a buxom lipstick, so although it's not drugstore, I still wanted to share it. This is Sydney. So I don't know if you can see how that looks. I mean, this one's looking a little bit darker on camera, but when they go on, they're pretty much the same. Anyways, uh, texture, quite a bit different. You know, these have a lot of slip to them. I personally don't love that. Uh, I kind of like one, you know, lipstick that isn't quite so uh, slippery. But just so you know, there is another option to the YSL Sensual Silk. Next, I have a Buxom lipstick, and this is I don't want to call this a nude because it's not really like a true nude. It would be like a darker nude. It's more of, it has more of like a terracotta sort of tone to it, but I really like it a lot. This is Buxom in Amsterdam. And it is a beautiful color there. Now the one that I found that was a perfect match to that is this one by Revlon. This is Mauve It Over. So let me go ahead and show you both of those side by side. So there's Mauve It Over. And... Amsterdam. They're really, really close, so I would definitely call those dupes. Next I have one of my favorite Buxom lipsticks. This is Nantucket, and it's a beautiful peach color. And I was really excited to find a dupe for this one. This is Revlon Super Lustrous in Smoked Peach. And this is a matte. So the texture, you know, the whole look of them, the finish and everything, they come off very much the same. Now moving on to corals. Now if it's summertime and I want to wear like a bright kind of fun color, I'm probably going to be reaching for a coral. I didn't, there's just something about it, it's just like sunny and bright and just makes you feel good. So this is one of my all-time favorite coral lipsticks. This is from MAC. This is Costa Chic, and it is a frost, although I do not find that it comes off like over-the-top frosty at all. Um, it just, I don't know, it seems more kind of creamy to me. So Costa Chic, and the dupe that I found for that is by Revlon from their Super Lustrous line. This is Coral Berry, and this is a cream. Another MAC coral color. Now this is kind of a, like a lighter, softer sort of coral. This is Everhip, and this was a limited edition, although I think they do bring it back, you know, in certain collections every once in a while. So Everhip, and then the one that I found that matches that is a Happy Booster by Physicians Formula. This is I Heart Nude. I do not know why they call it I Heart Nude, because there's nothing nude about this lipstick. It is definitely a coral color. So there you have it. I think Everhip lasts a little bit longer. I think this does tend to wear off a little bit faster because it is, it's a little more slippery, um, but the colors are right on. Now on the peachier side of the coral colors, I have a lipstick by MAC, one of my favorites. This is MAC Ravishing. This is a cream machine. I think it's just a beautiful color, especially for summer, and I found a great dupe for it. This is Revlon Color Burst in Peach. And you can see how close they are. Look at that. That's all for nudes, corals, and peaches. Now on to pink. So I have kind of like this sort of mid-tone dolly pink that I really like a lot. And this is a frost. This is by Lancome. And it's called Poodle Skirt. And it's got a lint on it right now. Hold on. Okay. And it is kind of a cooler tone. Um, I mean, it's not like over the top, you know, like cool, but it does have a little bit of like cool sheen to it. So the match that I found for Lancome Poodle Skirt is this one by Revlon. This is uh, from their Super Lustrous line. This is Gentlemen Prefer Pink. I'm going to hold these both up because these are so similar. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. 
Now the next four lipsticks I have to show you all kind of match each other. They're all very close. They're cool tone pinks. So let me go ahead and show you one of my favorites. This is Max Knob. Beautiful cool tone pink. This is a satin. And the one that I found that matches it the closest um, is this Revlon in Primrose. And it is a cream. So the formula is different. You know, the texture is a little different. Um, the satin, of course, feels a little, just a little bit drier on the lips and not quite as glossy. And the cream is, you know, more like, think of like a matte cream machine. It's just creamier. So there we have them, though. The colors are pretty darn close there. There we go. My camera will focus. I absolutely love both of these products. So those are definitely two very comparable products. Now let me show you the other two that are kind of similar. So this is, um, wait, let me show you this one. This is Buxom Vienna, another one of my favorites. And uh, that is another cool tone pink. And the one that I found that matches that one, I kind of paired these off with each other, although all four are kind of similar. I tried to pair them off to the closest one. So this is a Revlon Super Lustrous. This is a matte. This is pink pout. So let me go ahead and pop open the Buxom Vienna and show them side by side. Very, very close. Next, I have the infamous Rouge Volup number no. 7 from YSL. This is lingerie pink, and this is a really hard color to match because although it's so light, it's so opaque, and it's just, I couldn't find like an exact match to it, so I just have a couple of comparable products that I really wanted to mention to you guys anyways because I almost like those better. I find that these two are easier to wear and the colors are very similar on the lips. So there are two lipsticks by Revlon. I actually have a lip butter. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you that one first. And then I have a color burst um, lipstick. So this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Cupcake and it is cooler tone as you can see compared to Laundry Pink. Much cooler tone but on the lips it does come off really close just because this one kind of gets a little bit lighter when it gets onto the lips. And then the Revlon Color Burst in Baby Pink, which is another really beautiful color. But you can still see that the Rouge Volup, or the, um, you know, Lingerie Pink Rouge Volup is a little bit lighter. But on the lips, once again, this lightens up and they just come off very close. So looking at the three of these together here, you can see that the colors do vary a little bit. However, on the lips, I just don't see that much of a difference that I would want to repurchase this one again when there are these out there. As so you guys know, I love my mauve lipsticks, so I have a couple here to show you. This one is by MAC, and this is Creme de la Femme, and it's a beautiful, kind of frosty shade. And then the one that I found that's very similar to it is Revlon Super Lustrous in Satin Plum, and this is a pearl, so the texture and the finish is very similar. Although you can see that um, Satin Plum, the Revlon one, it does have a little more of a purpley undertone to it. But on the lips, they're very, very close. I also want to share this one, which is another MAC one, one of my favorites. It's MAC Fabby. And this is another frost, but it has more of a nude undertone. It has gold pearl. It's a very multidimensional lipstick. A very, very hard one, if not impossible, to dupe. Um, I just have not come across anything that's even close to it until this one, and I put them both on my lips. I did lip swatches of both of these together. So this is um, this is a Satin Plum from Revlon, and although they don't look, you know, they definitely don't look the same looking at the product, on the lips they actually do look fairly similar. Um, so I just wanted to show you those and do swatches of both of those together. We are almost done. I have one more lipstick to share with you, and this is by Too Faced. This is Too Faced Centerfold, and I just love this lipstick. Although it does have a, you know, quite a bit of a purpley tone to it, so it can be a little hard to pull off. I always suggest wearing a gloss with it if you feel like you can't pull it off well enough. Um, but it's it's a, like a mauvey nude with that kind of purple undertone. It's very kind of unique color, but I did find one that's very very close. So this is one of the NYX Jumbo lip pencils. And this is in Pecan. And the colors are 
pretty much a dead-on match. So if my camera will focus there. So texture-wise, the NYX Jumbo Pencil, I don't think it lasts as long as, uh, you know, on, it doesn't last as long on the lips as like the Too Faced lipstick. Um, it will wear off faster, but if you're just going for the color, this is only like three bucks, and I think this is like close to 20, I think, maybe 18, something like that. Now, since I'm talking about the Too Faced Centerfold lipstick, I do want to bring in another product um, just because I get so many questions about it whenever I've showed the Too Faced Centerfold, I always get questions, is this one a dupe for it? And this is MAC BB Glam 2, and people want to know if it is a dupe for the Too Faced Centerfold, and I feel that it is not. Um, I just, I'm going to do lip swatches too for this one. And this just has, it's more nudey, and it has like a little bit more nude with like a little bit of a brown undertone compared to the Too Faced Centerfold which has more of the purple to it. So can... Alright, so I think that's everything. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it gave you some ideas of other products that are out there that might be similar to things that maybe you had on your wish list. Now for lip liners and lip gloss, I didn't end up including those in this video because I just felt I, I didn't want to make this video too long. In fact, I should probably cut it off right now. I'm going to try to do like a separate video for lip liners and lip gloss. I'm not sure if I can do like a dupe video because I just don't own enough lip glosses. I don't know. That might have to be something in the future. But I figured uh, just doing the lipsticks was like enough uh, to fill one video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Oh, also, I would love for you guys to name one of your favorite products down below in the comments and a dupe for it. Like, if you have a favorite product that you love and you've found a dupe for it, I would love to hear it down in the comments. So, and then we can all go through and kind of read everyone's comments, so that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.